and time that is space and time and on the right hand side of the equation we had iota h bar now this is the equation for a free particle what does a free particle mean what about the potential energy of a free particle zero so a free particle basically means that the potential energy is zero and all of its energy is kinetic and then we also derive the relationship that minus that p squared over 2m equals the right hand side which is simply h bar omega So this is something we derived in our previous lecture and this h bar omega is nothing but the total energy and we immediately found that the total energy E is given by p squared over 2m which is just the kinetic energy of the particle as it should be. So this is from our previous lecture but this is the simplest form of the Schrodinger equation and the simplest artificial uh, concept that we can think of that is the free particle a free particle is just a synthetic concept it does not exist in reality because the probability of finding a free particle is uniform everywhere in space it exists everywhere okay free particle ke bare mein keh sakte hain jag mein aakar idhar udhar dekha tu hi aaya nazar jidhar dekha to wo har taraf free particle hi exist karta hai to ye ek synthetic concept hai artificial concept hai लेकिन इस लेट्स मूव टू द मूव टू द नेक्स्ट लग ऑफ द लैडर दैट इज लेट्स मेक इट अ बिट मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड सपोज दैट देर इज अ फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द पार्टिकल व्हेन देर इज अ फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द पार्टिकल इट्स एनर्जी कैन नॉट ओनली बी काइनेटिक देर हैज टू बी सम पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एज वेल सो एंड वी नो दैट इफ द फोर्स इज कॉन्जर्वेटिव इफ द फील्ड इज कॉन्जर्वेटिव देन द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज गिवन बाय the force is given by minus dv over dx this is something that you've already learned from your first year so somehow we now have to introduce the potential energy into this equation remember that the schrodinger equation deals with energies you have energy on the right hand side and an energy on the left hand side newton's second law of motion deals with forces you have a force on the left and the right hand side the schrodinger equation is cast in the terms of energy we talk about energies in the schrodinger equation now now could you guess that if you would like to introduce a potential energy term this is the total energy of the of the object the quantum object or the particle if you would like to call it and this is the kinetic energy if you would like to introduce a potential energy term v where would it go in this equation on the left hand side so that the total energy equals the kinetic plus the potential energies that's a reasonable assumption and this is the assumption that schrodinger made in fact so now you see we're not deriving this equation we are motivating this equation this equation cannot be derived we are inducing this equation or we have a logical concept in our mind and we say that okay with this logic the potential energy term must appear on the left hand side so this equation is modified as follows minus h bar squared over 2m <coughs> acting on the wave function psi xt equals iota h bar capital psi function of x and time ji so, v, uh, v potential energy main potential energy ko v se zahir kar raha hu baaz books mein u se bhi zahir karte hain u se karte hain u se karte hain aap batao kise kare u se kar lete hain theek hai okay so this is the modified form of the schrodinger equation we have introduced a potential energy term and we put these terms together in a bracket in fact this term 
is acting on this wave function. So you can put the wave function here as well and the wave function is being multiplied by this term g. फ्री पार्टिकल में तो एनर्जी सारी की सारी काइनेटिक थी ठीक है अब हम कह रहे हैं वो टोटल एनर्जी राइट हैंड साइड पे तो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे काइनेटिक भी होनी चाहिए पोटेंशियल भी होनी चाहिए तो फ्री पार्टिकल के लिए ये चीज जीरो हो जाएगी ये एक जनरल पार्टिकल के लिए जो किसी फील्ड में मूव कर रहा है जिस पे कोई फोर्स एक्ट हो रही है ठीक है सो दिस इज द मॉडिफाइड फॉर्म ऑफ द शूटिंग इक्वेशन जी ये तो वो पहले वाली टर्म ही है ना ये पुट ये मोमेंटम वाली टर्म मोमेंटम स्क्वेड वाली टर्म है जो पहले भी थी ये सिर्फ इस टर्म को मैंने हु बहु यहां लिख दिया कुछ नहीं किया इस तरह लिख लें इस तरह लिख लें यानी एक मोमेंटम की टर्म है एक्टिंग ऑन एन ऑपरेटर सॉरी एक्टिंग ऑन अ वेव फंक्शन एंड देन यू हैव अ दिस इज अ काइनेटिक एनर्जी टर्म एक्टिंग ऑन द वेव फंक्शन दिस इज अ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी टर्म एक्टिंग ऑन द वेव फंक्शन सो यू मस्ट हैव अ वेव फंक्शन हेयर एज वेल इन ऑर्डर टू मेक दिस इक्वेशन डायमेंशनैलिटी डायमेंशनली करेक्ट सो वॉट दिस इक्वेशन इज ऑल अबाउट is that you have a wave function this is a wave function and this object is acting on the wave function agar main likhta hu d by dt acting on some function f this d by dt is an operator it's called an operator and the operator acts on an operand operator kisi function par act hota hai function operand hai theek hai ye file hai ye maful hai ऐसे ही है ना तो दिस इज एन ऑपरेटर एंड एन ऑपरेंट नो दिस इज एन ऑपरेंट दिस इज अ फंक्शन विच इज एन ऑपरेंट एंड दिस इज एन ऑपरेटर एक्टिंग ऑन दी ऑपरेंट हेयर वी हैव एन दिस इज आवर ऑपरेटर